The night sky is a tapestry of shooting stars, each bearing a wish upon it. But what are those wishes? People wish for money. They wish for love. Some wish to change the future, others the past. But could you really call such absurd hopes wishes? What we call wishes are, well, nothing more than delusions. That's not to say one should feel guilty for indulging in them, of course. Each and every human is, at his or her core, a being who dines on delusion. <laughs> no, that's not quite right. Please allow me to rephrase. Humans are the only beings capable of self-delusion. In a way, that's a power, one granted exclusively to the human race. Delusions allow people to wallow in their most idealized, impossible dreams, free from reality. In fact, it can be said without a shred of hyperbole that this is man's single true joy. But humans, oh, they are well aware that their delusions do not in any way represent reality. And perhaps that is the most tragic indictment one could make of reality. But that's precisely the reason delusions exist, the reason they serve the function they serve. And yet, and yet, what if a delusion were to suddenly become real? Could you think of anything more wonderful? That, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason I exist. Now, draw the curtain. Indulge in a spectacular delusion that transcends your wildest dreams. Oh, now where might this be? No problem. Delusion all its own. Come and get me.
feel like I'm not so fast. Not so fast. Yeah. Hot like yeah. Not so fast. Or is this reality? Yeah. No Which do you wish it to be? Not so fast! Hot. I'll blow you away! Hot. Not so like this! Delusion and reality stand on either like side this. of you. Welcome to the interstice between reality and delusion. Here, whether you exist within reality or delusion is merely a matter of perspective. So... Shall we commence? Shall we descend into this delusion that presents itself as reality? And this reality that seems an illusion? Crap, crap, damn hell, ass crap. I am so late. Mizuki's gonna chew my head off. And I'm gonna need that to read the early copy of the latest weekly chop he got for me too. I gotta get over to Junk Street like yesterday. There's nothing like Akiba on a Saturday. It's a madhouse, sure, but it's my madhouse. Oh, hello, Miaster. Allow me out, Nikkei Musameda, to welcome you to this fine establishment. Uh, what? Sorry, but I'm kind of in a hurry here. It'll only take a meowment, I swear. I represent Neon Dreamin', a cat ear cafe which opens tomorrow. And pr 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 presenting our grand opening special. Only 222 yen per drink. It's a steal. Oh, here, take this flyer as a souvenir. Uh, thanks. 
Wait, didn't this place used to be a bunny ear cafe, like, a month ago? <laughs> that was then. This is now. Bunny ears are way out, and kitty ears are super duper in. Man, Akiba doesn't waste any time replacing little pop-ups like this, does it? It's kind of brutal. Yeah! <sighs> Crap, it's Mizuki. Hello? Don't you hello me? You kept me waiting for two hours. Any sane person would have left ages ago. T sorry. Where are you anyway? Uh, I'm on my way, I swear. Sprinting down the road as we speak. Be there in five. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that before. Five minutes. I'll be here, but I'm betting you won't. Yep, Mizuki is definitely not happy with me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I gotta run. I've got a friend waiting for me. And I'll be waiting right here for you to return, Meowster. There you are. Sorry. Do you have any idea how late you are? How long you kept me waiting? N no, I know. It's just that, you know, on my way here, stuff happened. Ah, oh, yes, stuff. Okay, I'll play along. What sort of stuff happened today? Well, uh, I was talking to a maid. Oh, there's that, and, um... Huh? So, maids before bros, huh? That's the game you're playing here? No, 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 that's not it. That is so not what I meant. Then by all means, elucidate. Okay, so first she just kind of called out to me, out of the blue. Then she was all, there's gonna be a cat at your cafe opening tomorrow. Yeah, I'm a cat. I mean, you know. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> I, 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 uh... Here I was all ready to yell at you, and now you've got me laughing instead. It's not fair. Guess it's not too surprising, though. Against all odds, you've always had bizarrely good people skills. I... have? Wait, does avoiding all contact with other people count as a people skill now? I mean it. You might not have ever noticed it, but you're good at interacting with your peers. I mean, you've had me waiting here half a day to give you this stupid magazine. 
Isn't that proof enough? Speaking of, take it. You've been dying to read this, right? Oh, it's so beautiful. The last issue left off on a killer cliffhanger. I've been waiting so hard for this. Thank you so much. It's no problem. I was on my way to work anyway. Which I'd be late for if you kept me waiting another 30 minutes. You'd still be hanging off of that cliff. Wait, you've got work on a Saturday? Man, you're pretty much always working these days, huh? It suits you, though. Tutoring junior high kids, I mean. It's a very music -y thing to do. Well, what about you, Asahi? Any big plans today? Or are you gonna head home, read chop, and go to bed? Hey, that plan is plenty big. And don't act like I don't have a life. I'll have you know there's more waiting for me than just chop. I've got anime and games to finish, too. In other words, you're gonna piss away the night with nerd stuff and go to sleep sometime tomorrow morning. You say that like it's a bad thing. <sighs> Still living the neat lifestyle to the fullest, I see. What can I say? I'm a career neat. It's my vocation, my passion, my one true calling in life. Such a waste. Hmm? What is? What indeed. Anyway, some of us have work. I've gotta get going. Thanks again, Mizuki. See you later. You will. Bye-bye. Well, that's enough action for one day. I might as well head home myself. with this guy it's all wrong this isn't the way Akihabara is supposed to be say what now why would Akihabara have to change so much it used to stand for something you know it was an audiophile's paradise filled to bursting with dreams desires and high-end audio equipment the heck's he talking about oh, but look at it now it's a mess Hockey bit a day is all about anime and idols and all that other nonsense. Yep, this dude's nuts. Not the kind of person I should be engaging. Are Akihabara's audiophile days truly dead and buried, never to return? Oh, they just up and left without saying goodbye. Oh, where is my beloved district gone? I'd better get home before this weirdo tries to talk to me or something. Ugh. I'm home, he said to nobody. <sighs> what an exhausting day. And I haven't even done anything. I think I'll kick things off with a power nap. It's not like I don't have time. Good night, Moon. Hmm? Who's calling me now? Hello? You just woke up, didn't you? 
Do you have any idea what time it is right now? Oh, hey, Mizuki. Uh, morning. Wrong answer. It's almost midnight. That's about as far from morning as you can get. Oh, wow. Did I really sleep that long? Wait, why are you calling me at midnight? Did you need something? No, I don't exactly need anything. It's just that someone was so late earlier, I didn't get much chance to talk. Figured I'd remedy that now. So, uh, does that mean there's something you wanted to talk about then? Are you seriously this dense? We've been friends since, what, grade school? Then all of a sudden you drop out of college and go full neat. Of course I want to talk. I'm worried about you. Are you eating right? Have you put any thought into your future? Well, sorry for worrying you. But you'll be happy to know that I think about my future every day. I've got to find some way to be a neat forever. Are you serious right now? God, just tell me you're eating food that, like, might actually be good for you. Um, uh, potatoes technically count as vegetables, right? Yeah, no. Guess I was right to be worried about you. Your health's probably a train wreck by now. Food is fuel. And have you ever seen a train wreck run like me before? Yeah, yeah. I take it you're gonna be free tomorrow, too? Hey, stop assuming I have no life. I mean, you're right, I am free, but that's beside the point. Then let's go grab lunch together. You'll get something that'll actually be good for you for a change. Oh, you're treating? Well, when do you get out of class? When do you want to meet? Wait, you do know I don't have school on the weekend, right? We're moments away from a Sunday, remember? I guess Anit wouldn't need to know what day it was anyway. No school on Sundays, right. I forgot. See, for me, every day is Sunday. I'm sure it is. Anyway, I'll shoot you an email with the time and the place. Deal? Roger that. I'll probably be up around noonish, give or take. If you're gonna be late, let me know. Make me wait around again, and I'll bring the wrath of God down on you. Cool. I'll be waiting on your wake-up call then. I'm not your mother. Okay, later. Hmm. Night, Mom. Man, that Mizuki's always looking out for me. He's a regular guardian angel. I don't think I eat that badly. But my future? Yeah, no idea what I'm doing there. I just don't want to work, ever. I want to be free to do what I want, when I want, how I want. Just like today. Speaking of, it'll be tomorrow any second now. Where'd I put that remote? Well, that was quick. Two o'clock by the FOSS map on Main Street. Go to bed now so you don't oversleep. I'm not your mother, he says. What am I, a grade schooler the night before a field trip or something? Come on. Mm -hmm. Who's calling at this hour? Why would anyone need to call me? Uh, why, hello, Mizuki. Isn't it just beautiful out today? <laughs> Talk me. Just how long did you plan on sleeping? Well, uh, what time is it now? It's 2.30. Seriously? Do you have even the faintest idea how worried I was? And after I told you over and over not to oversleep? Well, you know, I had a lot on my plate last night. Oh? Was it anime? Games? Or were you just tooling around on the internet? Uh, all of the above. Ugh. <sighs> I really shouldn't be surprised at this point. Uh, I'm sorry. Please, please forgive me. Where are you right now? I told you in my email. I'm right by the FOSS map on Main Street. I'm heading there right now. Please, please, please don't leave. Sure, sure. Just don't forget to wash your face before you head out. And brush your teeth. Damn it. I can't believe I did this to him two days in a row. But I've got to hurry. Oh, hey, it's her again. Cadia Cafe, Nyan Dreamin' is now open! Nya, Nya! Hey, you're the cat girl made from yesterday. Which makes sense since you told me today it was the grand opening. 
I remember you from yesterday, too. Are you here to patronize our fine establishment, Nya? Because our grand opening special is going on right now. Only 222 yen per drink. Ooh, it's a real steal. Sorry, I've got a friend waiting for me again. Same friend, actually. But I'll be back for you. Someday. I swear it. Ah, okay. See you next time. Fastest way to FOSS map is... Yep, cutting right through the station. Time to make tracks. This definitely isn't the Akihabara station I know. You feel it too, don't you? The sense that there's something wrong with the station as it is now. Uh, do I know you? I know you. At least, I know that this delusion is making you uneasy. If it weren't, we wouldn't be speaking right now. Hear me out, would you? Me? Uh, I'm in a bit of a hurry right now, so... It'll be fine. This will only take a moment of your time. I've really... Just answer my question. Do you or do you not sense that there's something off about this station right now? I don't need to sense it. Anyone could see that there's something weird going on around here. Hmm. What say you, Pinkoon? Could he be the cause? The cause of... What now? Never you mind. Just tell me, what does this look like to you? What does what look like? Look, look, lady, I really don't have time for this. Come on out, Pinkoon. Just leave him to me! Did that stuffed animal just talk? How rude! I may be positively adorable, but I am not a stuffed animal! I'm a familiar bound to Saki's family bloodline! Wait, hold on, you've already lost me. How is this plushie moving or talking? I told you, I'm not a stuffed animal! Huh? So you can sense Pinkoon's mystical nature too, I see. Sense its mystical nature? You're pranking me, right? That clinches it. You're a deluser. I'm a... a what now? Come on, follow me. Okay, hold on a sec. How many times do I have to tell you I'm supposed to be meeting with a friend? I'm already late. Don't worry about it. I'm just taking you over there, even closer to the station building. Let's go, Pinkoon. Yes, ma'am! Hey, did you notice I didn't agree to any of this? And they're gone. Ugh, damn it, fine! I'll give them one minute, but I swear that's it! So long. I'm not going to be this young and beautiful forever, you know. Hey, I'm doing you a favor here. And what is all this anyway? It sure wasn't here yesterday. Oh, that reminds me. What's your name? Huh? My name? It ain't a hard question, Chuckles. If you're lucky, we might even remember it. Okay. It's Asahi. Asahi Tachibana. I live around here, and before you ask, yes, I'm eating just fine. Asahi. All right, I'll try to remember that. Oh, and I'm Saki Hoshino. This little guy here is Pinkoon. Yo! Sorry to just ask you strange questions out of the blue, but do you know what this object is, Asadachi? Tachi, with a T. And it's Asahi. Didn't you tell me you were gonna remember my name? And that's a good question. What is this thing? It looks like some kind of audio setup. Is this some kind of band thing, or a publicity stunt for an audio shop? Either way, though, you'd figured it'd draw a crowd. Or at least people would have noticed it by now. That's right. And I can assure you that this is no publicity stunt. Tell me, Asahi, are you a big fan of audio equipment? You know, speakers, headphones, and the like? A big fan? Not really. 
I mean, I like music as much as the next guy, but I don't know the first thing about